Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Duels of the Spellsinger, tournament number five. For those of you who have not been keeping up tournament number five, we are now past the sort of uh, four entry brackets, and we now have the four rounds before we get to the semifinals, and then the finals. And today's match will be with Metagame Fitness versus Taliesin. Taliesin? Taliesin. T-A-L-I-E. S-I-N. Tally or Tally. Please do let me know how to say it, Tally, in um, comments or just sometime in Discord. Uh, and before we get started today, I do want to give a big shout out and thank you to our organizers, Antler and myself, Obisform, our video editors, we got Antler, Ezra, and Irene Bryce. And also a big shout out to our commentators, we got Nemesis, Dusty, and myself, Obisform. So do tune in and stay up to date with our game tournament number five. As you guys know, no real rules, it's just a best two out of three. You can use any cards, any planeswalkers, any decks that you would like for all two or three of the games, or you can choose whatever you want uh, between each match. So basically, tournament number five is uh, adults playing a children's card game, and the payoff is either you get a big high or you experience the big sad. And with that, we're going to get started with round number one. Round one. Fight! All right, round number one, we have Metagame Fitness on Domri, rocking that uh, very aggressive land. I think it's on turn four. It can do three damage randomly. And same versus Taliesin or Taliesin on Chandra. Also rocking that very aggressive land on turn four. It can do three damage randomly. I think it's turn five, actually. But in any case, so uh, this is going to be at a very explosive, fast-paced match all Chandras basically go rush aggro, face damage, we can even see the shiny, shiny Lava Axe. Turn 1 Taliesin plays a 3-2 Leaping Lemur, can't block. Turn 1 Metagame Fitness plays the looks like Channeler of Might. Yeah, we can see most of the things in Metagame Fitness's hand cost 1 or 2, except for maybe the 5 cost. Alright, turn 2 Taliesin uh, attacks with the Leaping Lemur and the hasty 2-1 Goblin. I think Metagame Fitness, yeah, blocks the Goblin, right? So it gets good value there. Does take the three damage, but that way the three-one guy survives. And this turn, Taliesin cannot block. So there's a three damage, Taliesin goes, or will go to 21. And a three mana, I think he might do the Elvish Archer or maybe Okrin. Uh, nope, goes for the Elvish Archer, two, four, which again will survive the three, two Leaping Lemur unless Taliesin plays the could be a Goblin Shortcutter or just Ball Lightning, straight face damage. Um, but I think it needs to deal with that 2-4. This sort of higher health, the Chandler of Might, the 3-3, three, three, that 2-4 Elvish Archer, it really put a dent in Taliesin's uh, even trade. So Taliesin goes for the 6-1 Ball Lightning, probably going to eat that 6 damage. And the 2-4 does block the Leaping Lemur, so it dies. And just like that, Taliesin has no more creatures. And turn 3 already, Medigan Fitness is down to 12. But Taliesin himself is down to 16. Very fast pace match. Also for 3 minute plays, Okun the Crusher. Interesting card effect. Whenever the opponent draws a card, we can see that. Gets plus 1 damage. And Taliesin on turn 4 has the Flame Shot. But it doesn't kill Okun, which is a big problem. Decides to go for Metagame Fitness's face. Instead, 3 damage and then minus 1, minus 1. And kills everything else for 1 damage, except for Okun. Oaken does 5 damage uh, straight to Taliesin's face um, and is wondering what he should play. Maybe blow the 5 mana for Force of the Wild. So straight puts a sword on the Chandra's face, does the Chandler of Might, blows the mana gem. Rampaging Boar gives his boars plus 1 plus 1 and it's time to play the boar. They're now 4-4. Four, four. So that's 5, 10, 14, 17 damage. On Metagame Fitness, now 18 damage on Metagame Fitness's side. Taliesin really has to block, um, or else it's kind of game over. I mean, I think it is game over, but it's between the Goblin Shortcutter and the Vengeful Brute. It's kind of GG. Even if you block the 5 or 6 damage, it's still going to be 7 damage coming in, and I don't know if that's going to be favorable blocks. And Vengeful Brute will do 2 damage to himself. So just from Taliesin's hand, it looks like he's lacking in sort of board Control, creature, control, creature, destruction, doesn't have any of that, only has face damage, plays the 3-2 Vengeful Brute, but I think he has to play, no, I don't think, I think he has to play the, um, because he's going to get blocked for sure, either by the 4-4, four, four, or maybe even the 5-4, but probably the 4-4, four, four, um, because it's going to be 3 damage, 
basically, or two damage going, nope, decides to bring himself down to one HP, because that's the game, and that was a three minute and 50 seconds right now. Match, that's crazy fast, wow. Talk about explosive, so just like that, Okun kills the ventral brute, they kill each other, and three plus five plus four brings Taliesin down to minus three. And uh, because of video game logic, a big fat gas bore goes, and that's what happens in real life. When you get defeated by axes and swords thrown at your face, you also experience the big green gas bore. Um, and with that, so very well done, Metagame Fitness. We're going to get into round number two. Round two. Fight. All right, round two, fight. Round two, it's going to be the same metagame fitness on the aggressive Domri. We can see him not wanting Force of the Wild. I think five mana is too heavy. Versus Taliesin on the same aggressive Chandra. I think Chandra, yeah, doesn't want the ball lightning. Uh, and the lightning catcher, maybe it's too expensive and also wants more blockers. I think last time Taliesin sort of, you know, had a little failure from the blocking part of the thing. So turn one is going to go to metagame fitness, I think. Yeah, just going to play Birds of Paradise. There we go. And turn one on Taliesin could blow the mana gem, fire elemental or dagger Klimp, or okay, draws a raging goblin could go in for the attack. If Chandra does attack, I'm not sure. Okay, so Chandra does play that and Chandra looks, yeah, goes in for the attack. I'm not sure if metagame fitness will block um, because you don't have to block two damage only. You could chump block or maybe metagame fitness is scared that Chandra's signature card flame shot that does the one damage everywhere will just take it out for free. So he does block, all right? Turn two metagame fitness plays the two hit wonder. And that's an amazing card in this situation. Two hit wonder does one damage before it gets blocked or before it blocks for free. And then after that, the combat damage occurs. So um, Taliesin, if he attacks with the two one, is just gonna die for free to the two-hit wonder. And that's why you sort of have this sort of breathing room in this sort of um, explosive round, explosive match. That two-hit wonder has simply stalled Taliesin's offensive. Yeah, goes in for the attack. I don't know if Taliesin's gonna block because that two one's gonna die for free. Decides to block it, yeah. Just like that, kills it for free. A very nice shock. Um, takes away the aggression from the air. And I think it's time to play the Elvish Archer or Channeler Might. Uh, decides to, okay, decides to play the Elvish Archer. I mean, why not? Use all your mana gems. End the turn. Tally's in on turn three. Maybe it's time to use your mana gem so you can bring out, like, a Vengeful Brute and the Fire Elemental. Um, but the problem with the two Fire Elementals is that they only have one HP and they die so hard to that two-hit wonder. So Taliesin casts the Vengeful Brute 3-2 and the 3-1 Fire, but that 3-1 Fire Elemental is not going to attack. Metagame Fitness decides to do go in for the attack, probably keep that, yeah, keep that guy back so that you keep Taliesin's 3-1 Fire Elemental away. And I think Metagame Fitness decides not to attack either because the 2-4, although it can kill something, if it gets blocked, it brings it down to one HP. And then if Taliesin does the flame shot on the uh, two-hit wonder, that clears the board. So I think that's why Metagame Fitness didn't attack because he's scared. Yeah, why not? Just fill the board. So Metagame Fitness didn't attack because he's scared of flame shot cleaning house. Decides not to attack, and I think that's the play. Because now it'll force Taliesin to flame shot the two-hit wonder or some other three-life creature. And then still have to deal with the Elvish Archer and everything else. So I think that was very well done. Um, so turn four on Taliesin, yeah, that two-hit wonder is a big problem for the 3-1 fire elemental. And I think that's why he's contemplating uh, flame shot or just casting more creatures. But as we all know, metagame fitness on Domri has a slightly better long game than Taliesin. Yeah, so decides Taliesin decides to flame shot to hit wonder. Now finally goes in for the attack. And I think the Elvish Archer might not block um, because we know there's like dagger call imps um, from. Okay, no, the metagame. What do I know? I mean, metagame fitness. You know, rank number one. He says something is probably correct. Decides to block with both the creatures that have reach. I think it's because the Elvish Archer, um, it only does two damage, and the other guy, when it dies, Soul of the Wood, it gives him three HP back. And he wants HP because he's scared, fighting into Taliesin. Yeah, casts that big 8-6 Trample Reach and attacks for six damage, and now Taliesin's turn five. It could do the Hell Rider, but Hell Rider is sort of just a chump um, attacker. Yeah, maybe go for the Deco Imp and the Fire Elemental. But uh, the Hell Rider, yeah, is not the time to play it. So Metagame Fitness has a ton. There we go. Get to Archer does the one damage to the 3-1 Fire Elemental. Just like that, it's going to be 8 plus 6. So Fist, 
claw and claw. And now Talison is down to two HP. Minigame Fitness casts his 4-3 Tuscar and ends his turn. Terran six Talison plays a Hell Rider, probably attacks with everything. Um, but I don't think it really matters, yeah. Because it's going to be the end of the game. So Medigan Fitness decides to block, kills the Hell Rider. It's not an even Steven trade. Get to Archer, kills the Dark Hall Imp. It's an even Steven trade. My name is not Steven. And just like that, that's game. It's going to be eight plus uh, three plus seven. That's 18 damage. Goes in for the attack, fist, claw, claw, and now dragon. And we can see that actually they attack in the order they were casted. And with that, due to thanks to video game logic, Talison on Chandra dies a very horrible green gas death. A terrible way to die, uh, getting gassed to death. In any case, very well done, Metagame Fitness. You go on to the semi finals. Um, very good try, Talison. It's very difficult to, uh, I guess, play against a, you know, the greatest of all time, meh, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Metagame Fitness. Uh, if you guys like what you heard or saw today, please do leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, we do have an active Patreon. We always do appreciate your support. And if you hope, I hope you guys enjoyed watching fireworks and explosions. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.